It's a problem the chief of the Upper Marion Police Department has seen a lot lately. We've had over 250 male thefts reported to the Upper Marion Police since January of this year. But Chief Thomas Nolan has never seen people caught on camera stealing mail this brazenly from a USPS box literally in front of the police department. In the early hours of Tuesday morning, the same crew also hit the mailboxes outside the post office by the King of Prussia Mall. If you sent mail in one of these boxes after 5 p.m. Saturday, the guys in this video took it, and they're likely going to wash any checks you sent and make them out to themselves and others. If they don't change the pay amount, you see the same amount come out of your checking account, and you assumed you paid your tax bill or you paid your, your cable bill, uh, and it's only when you get notified by the other the person on the other end that they did not receive payment that you realize that your check's been stolen. This problem has been occurring more often nationwide ever since postal police were told relatively recently that they can only patrol their own facilities, and the lack of technology used to protect these boxes is a problem too. In the year 2022, it sounds insane to say this, but these big blue mailboxes are still accessed by an old fashioned sort of master key. So these thieves, when they get a key, however they manage to get one, you can get in the box and out of the box, lock it back up and take all the mail and do it all really, really quickly. The guy in these videos clearly had a key, probably found a way to get one of those postal service arrow keys that opens lots of boxes. The thieves got away in a white Mercedes with heavily tinted windows and a Delaware license plate. They lost the police officers who tried to pursue them. Until the mailbox locking technology joins us in the 21st century, experts suggest paying your bills electronically. And if you do need to send a check, try to put it in a mailbox close to the scheduled pickup time. Try not to leave mail in the mailbox overnight and use gel ink pens to write your checks. It's easier apparently to alter checks that were filled out with a ballpoint pen. And of course, if you recognize the person in this video, you should call Upper Marion Police. I'm Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.